No. Okay, you have this HIPAA-bound doctor. I, I don't really think there's like a rational backing to my like, oh, well, like saying this stuff about me is like embarrassing. And it was more just like this learned behavior of like asking for help mm -hmm. is something you shouldn't do, right? And that's a thought pattern that I had both had like drilled into me mm -hmm. and then continued to drill into myself. Like that's the only thing that really makes this wild case of shingles mm -hmm. make sense. Mm -hmm. um, so you stressed your way into shingles? Yeah, which is a thing. You gotta explain that to me. I mean, I don't know like the biochemistry. I mean, of it. from from what you understood, from what they said. Yeah. So I mean, basically, like I mean, when you're stressed, when you're dealing with a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like anxiety actually can have a like biologically important function, right? Because yeah. it's like, all right, like if we never got anxious about shit, we probably would never get up and do stuff. Yeah. Right? Like sometimes you need, you need anxiety. Exactly. Yeah. Right. There's an adaptive place for anxiety. It's not that we should never feel that feeling, but mm -hmm. it's just like, okay, the same thing that is I don't know, I think it, like like a spider web can be a home or it can be a trap, mm -hmm. right? And it's the same thing, but yeah. depending on your relationship with this thing, you have a wildly different like outcome from that relationship. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, when you're stressed, when you're going through like a lot of like anxiety, I mean, probably like depression going on too. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, your brain literally is like it's creating like cortisol. Like there are all these hormones associated with um, with anxiety and, and with depression mm -hmm. that also have spillover effects. Like I've had like sleep problems for a really long time. Um, and you know, and then if you're not sleeping well and then mm -hmm. you're tired, like, and then your body isn't recovering. It starts to break down. Right. And then yeah. even that, that stacking continues. So there's literal, like, there's like a biological, mm -hmm. like response so to had, anxiety and stress. You had mental stacking and then what happened was your body followed that condition and you started to have physical stacking. Which in turn uh -huh. fed back into the mental stacking. Yeah. Which in turn, and uh -huh. you, you see so where this is going. A, it was just a <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. You see where this is going. And uh, the snake that eats its tail. Yeah, right? And there's, there's, so that was kind of the point at which I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like feeling like this. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Yeah. And like just being able to like think through options, I think it would have been easier too if you know I had like knew more about what options were available to me, or mm -hmm. like what kinds of resources existed, or even like even just like that there are like different types of therapy. Like what year I know was this? that there are like this was twenty eighteen seventeen. Okay. So I had been kind of like on and off, but didn't really feel like I was like serious in it and doing it on my own until. Until then, mm -hmm. even knowing that there's like different kinds and and that was kind of the impetus for being like, all right, like, let me sign myself up mm -hmm. again. That's that's a hard process. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's a hard process. I remember, I, yeah, I, I remember, I, it wasn't uh, fun. I remember right? the inpatient form that you have to fill out for therapy. Yeah. And it gets really heavy when you got to write down the reason that you're there for therapy, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's even like, a degree you're like, well, if I really understood it, yeah. I wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> Back like, to that, can I, like, can I just cyclic? put a question mark? Right. Like, can <laughs> right. we figure this out together? Like, yeah. like, are you allowed to write, I'm just here to talk? As, like, the reason that you're there for therapy? Like, I sometimes wonder about that stuff. I, I mean, you definitely <clears throat> are. And I do remember times, like, when I had just been, like, exceedingly vague about it. Because mm -hmm. that's something I would do, even with, actually, my current therapist, who, like, yeah. I really mess with. Mm -hmm. Great um, guy. And really, great really guy. trust. Yeah, yeah, great guy. Yeah. But, like, I was cagey and vague as hell coming mm -hmm. in. Because I was like, I don't know what you're going to do with this information. So... What does cagey mean? Just, like... I guess the etymology is like, I don't know, like a, like a caged animal almost that's like really mm -hmm. skittish in any kind of sound or light, like retreating into corners and snapping mm -hmm. at anything. That when they like, get a little bit too close to the truth, you're like, nah, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and okay. then like a very like mm -hmm. snap back reaction, like I'm not letting anybody mm -hmm. near and anything that comes near, I'm yeah. gonna handle. You don't get to touch this. Yeah, like I'm yeah. gonna handle. Um, and yeah, so just kind of like, I don't know, came in, I forget, I lost my train of thought. You were feral. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, you were feral. Like when, yeah, when you were sitting down with your therapist yeah, yeah, that works yeah, now, you were yeah. very like, hey, so you I'm can here, to, just I'm here like, to get help, but you don't get to help me. You Yeah, you yeah. can just be like, I just want to talk, right? As you're coming in and you're doing the intakes and it's like, I just want to talk. Absolutely, that's an option. And I think there's a lot of really valid reasons, especially if people have different like traumas with like family or mm -hmm. therapists mm -hmm. or just like American society at large, yeah. where they're like, wow, anything that I say can and will be used against me. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I don't know, it's this like, I encourage people to like, if, if that's really how you're feeling, right, then that's, I mean, maybe that's what you have to do, right? A coping mechanism, all coping mechanisms we develop because they were adaptive at a time, mm -hmm. they become maladaptive over time. Yeah. Um, you know, most of them do. So that's something that you've, you've witnessed. Yeah. Time. And also if you're more mm -hmm. specific when you're coming in about what you actually need help with, mm -hmm. um, and it can be like, it can, I mean, it sh it's weird. When I want to say like, it shouldn't be embarrassing. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, well, there's no... Okay, you have this HIPAA-bound doctor. I, I don't really think there's, like, a rational backing to my, like, oh, well, like, saying this stuff about me is, like, embarrassing. And it was more just, like, this learned behavior of, like, asking for help mm -hmm. is something you shouldn't do, right? And that's a thought pattern that I had both had, like drilled into me and mm -hmm. then continued to drill into myself. Do you think that was because help was forced onto you? Yeah, and it like help often uh, too, right? Yeah. Where I'm like, this is open and right. close quotations. Yeah. Not that I think that's important. Yeah, that's why, I'm like, like you tell me that, like, I'm like, what, help, dude? It's not Wait. help. Yeah, I think I think what's important, and I don't know if you ever had to got to have this convo with your mom, but like, <clears throat> did you ever ask her what she meant by th this is the rule? Like, what the hell do you mean this is the rule for me to I go mean, to therapy? It's weird. Even now, like mm -hmm. today, there's like still like I have a complicated relationship with that. And mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ever going to have kids, but it does make me wonder, like kids often don't want to do shit. Yeah. Especially new stuff. Yeah. Especially adolescents. Mm -hmm. I want to hang out with my friends. Yeah. I don't want to have to do my schoolwork. Mm -hmm. And I want to feel cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like kind of that's primary like, that's, that's motivators that's for a young adolescent. Yeah. Feel cool. Have fun. Right. And so even like, I don't know, there were some things like. Like, she's like, in this house, like, mm -hmm. you have to learn how to play an instrument. Like, our, like our public school was like, okay, it's like, they were like, whatever. It's like, mm -hmm. super cheap, you can learn an instrument, you pick an instrument. Yeah. And would have never done it, mm -hmm. right? Would have never got involved. Okay, well, in this house, everybody has to play an instrument. Mm -hmm. And then, I think because that one felt healthy, there was an element of like, yeah, it was like, you have to do this, and it's a rule. Mm -hmm. And... I resisted it so much mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. Now I'm really thankful that that was a rule and like also found so much out about music and my relationship with music and how music helped me build relationships with other people over the mm -hmm. years that I'm like, wow, thank God that I didn't listen to young James mm -hmm. full of angst and like, yeah. right? Like, but that rule, doesn't there was work choice well. within that. Whereas like, okay, uh -huh. I think like the therapy, like, if you're going to put that kind of rule on, mm -hmm. like, if you have kids or something, like, there's got to be this element of choice so that they can find agency in it. So that they can mm -hmm. find there's no intrinsic motivation without choice. Yeah. Right? Um, okay, I could choose, yeah, whatever, I have to do this. Choose my instrument. Actually got into it. It led to an instrument, which led to another, which, mm -hmm. right, nobody never knows their path, but it's like... Yeah. Your ponytail touching that piece of art is hilarious every time. Oh. That thing's just been swinging. You're you're good. You're good. That thing's just been hilarious. Like it's it's yeah. just done like five like yeah. swing sets. I'm like, it's an allegory for my basic state of mind. I think in the moment, because swinging. <laughs> oh, he's almost gonna fall. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, but we working. We working. You know. Do you think making that rule of you have to though? didn't work well across the board because there's things that you can find positive in it mm -hmm. and things that it's it's kind of like you should have created space for me to negotiate if i want to 